Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we'll pick up where we left off by applying the linear pattern to our assembly. I'm going to propagate my extruded cut along this edge and along this edge. First thing we've got to do is figure out the distance between the center of this arc and this one over here, and also between the center of this arc and this one. Let's go to Evaluate, select the Measure tool. I'm going to select my first arc and the second arc. My distance of 90 millimeters displays. Let's click in blank space to deselect everything. Now select the next arc and the second arc. The distance shows as 100 millimeters. Let's close the Measure tool now. Return to the Assembly tab. Let's activate the Linear Pattern command now. It's under Assembly Features. First, we'll select the direction. Let's right-click here and Clear Selections. So this will be Direction 1. Now we're going to select the Features to Pattern. Let's scroll up here so we can specify the number of instances and the spacing distance. Let's say 100 millimeters. For direction 2, I'm going to select this edge. The number of instances will be 3. Tab to register. The distance will be 90 millimeters. Tab to register. And let's click Accept. And here is our linear pattern. This concludes our overview about how to apply a linear pattern at the assembly level. We'll see you back in a moment. Mm -hmm.